What's up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? I have been talking to a lot of people on Facebook because I made a couple before and after photos of what I've done the last three months. And I just want to give you the breakdown about what I've been doing nearly every freaking day um, to look the way I look and feel the way I feel and energy levels a little bit up, whatever. But a lot of people on Facebook were like, oh, no way, that's three months, blah, blah, blah. I've been doing this for a while. I've been fluctuating weight for a while. Not promoting fluctuating weight at all. It's something I've struggled with, continued to struggle with my whole life that, um, you know, I can cut down, look real good for a little bit, but then the temptation of food fucking comes at me. Anyways, let me break it down to you right now what I'm doing. All right, so first things off, preset your oven at 450. I got some chicken that I'm about to make. Gonna put some potatoes in there too. Potatoes, sweet potatoes. Um, I'll go through it with you. And then I just grind this up on the, uh, the stove pretty easy. Also got my organic turkey. I do the, I cooked that the same way I cook this. Cook it separately, but I just grind it up and, you know, saute it up. That's another thing. I eat only organic, man. Like, I, I live by that. You get better energy if you eat only organic. You just got to do it, man. If you haven't done it, do it. If you want to feel good and look good, eat organic. It's that fucking simple. Do it. Just to prove to y'all, I got the organic thing. Yeah, it's more expensive, but once you start feeling better, you have all this energy to start making more money, so you won't even fucking notice anymore. You want to look like this? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right, so first things are prepare this chicken. What I do is I take a paper towel, take the chicken breast, I try to dry it off with the paper towel as much as possible. So once you pop it into the oven, you want that to be uh, pretty dry, you know? Because you want it to be cooking evenly if it's wet. Um, this lady I learned this from on YouTube, she was like, if, it wet, if it's wet, it doesn't cook evenly. And... That lady's a cooking goddess. I wish she was my wife. Uh, if you know her, hook me up with her. I forget her name, but she's a blonde lady. She has got a couple million subscribers on YouTube. She's pretty cool. Um, all right, so dry off the chicken. That's the first step. And I'll be right back to show you the second. All right, so here we are. I just caught myself, man. Um, once I put on the oven, I want to stick the potatoes as soon as possible just because they take longer than anything else. And I want to make this process and enjoyable and as, um, you know, time savvy as possible. I want to make this process like I can do this every day type shit. If I'm just taking my time with the chicken, then put the potatoes in, then the whole, the whole process takes two hours. I'm trying to make this process and only make an hour, take an hour. Um, so you got to pop in those potatoes first. So let's get that without further ado. Okay, here I got my sweet potatoes. I think I got re one regular potato randomly. But uh, first things first, obviously wash off your potatoes. Get all the dirt out. And then we're going to poke holes in these. And we're going to put them on that tinfoil baking sheet. I just put it on tinfoil as a preference because I don't like cleaning up if there's no tinfoil. Sweet potatoes get sticky once they get cooked, so they're a pain in the ass to fucking scrub down every day. So get you some tin foil and put it on the baking tray. All right, next step: spray down that baking the tin foil with some uh, cooking spray. I got the organic canola oil um, from Whole Foods. All right, here we go. So get you a fork, your clean potato, right? Poke holes into it all over the place. Um, I find the deeper that you poke the holes, the better. But as long as you get some nice surface um, pokes, you'll be fine. So do that with all your potatoes. And then I'll see you in a few minutes here. And it's as simple as that. If you want some flavor, you can add some spices to it. Be careful on the salt, guys. I am a huge advocate in a low-sodium diet. Currently, I eat about like 2,000 to 2,500 2, milligrams of sodium per day. If you're really trying to cut, if you're like a bodybuilder and you want to be shredded, eat less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium today per day. It's tough to do, but you will be shredded. Like, you, you will. 
All right, so that same 450 oven, we're just gonna pop these in. Uh, the sweet potatoes, the oven only needs to be like 400 and you need to cook it for like 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour actually. Um, but those ones are smaller, so they actually might take, you know, um, let's get going on that chicken now. All right, so get you a clear bag or you can use the clear film, whatever, whatever you want to do. I put this chicken in the clear bag like, like this, and then I make it even. I grab a can. You can do it. If you have a hammer, if you're fucking bougie and got a hammer, go ahead and use a camera. I'm old school. I, I stick to prison law and I use the can for my hammer. All right, here we go. Just make, you want to make, the whole idea of this is make it as even as possible. If you cook it just as is, this side's going to be dry and this side's going to be raw. Or, you know, it's going to be not consistent. And you might have raw chicken and you do not want to be eating raw chicken. Because that's how you get salmonella. And uh, put your hand on it. Relatively smooth, doesn't got to be perfect. Um, but yeah, that's what you're going for here. And I'll do it with the other two pieces and then pop it in the oven and wait it. And so you pop it in the oven and I'll get back to you in a minute. I say, okay, what do I do next? I put some salt onto my chicken breast just because I like the way it tastes. And I feel like it cooks a little better when there is salt on that chicken breast so we're gonna pop this in a preheated 450 oven for 14 to 15 minutes right now i'm gonna do 15 minutes just to play it safe and that's all you really need all right next i'm gonna cook this ground organic ground turkey uh it's beef not turkey i'm gonna hit this later because it's still kind of oh no maybe it's not i'm gonna hit that too i find that turkey is actually better for burning fat and burning calories. I like the 93% lean. It's got a little bit more fat in it. And I do like that. It tastes fucking way better. You can only get the organic turkey at Whole Foods. That's the only place I've ever I've ever seen organic turkey at. There it is. And what I do from here is common sense to me, but it might not be common sense to you. Uh, this. Cook it like that and saute it. Put the heat, put the heat down a little bit. I left the heat all the way to fuck up. It splatter all over the place. I probably would kick it, cook it on high if it didn't splatter all over the place. But uh, yeah. And then next, I'm gonna do the turkey. I'm off, I'm not gonna wait and do this whole video. I don't have like the editing equipment. I'm just kind of doing it off one take. Um, but yeah, that's how I eat generally. And then also I do add this. So. I do eat some like cucumbers when I have them. I don't have them right now. I like broccoli. I might have some broccoli, but um, so this is what I do for my brown rice. Organic bags of brown rice. Make sure you get the low sodium ones. This one has, for the whole package, it's 390 calories, 20 milligrams of sodium. If you fuck around and get the wrong one, this one has 680 milligrams of sodium. You see what I mean, guys? Like, it's so easy to get fooled into eating a lot of sodium that you guys don't even notice it because you've not, never counted it. And, yeah, this video is um, directed kind of towards bodybuilders or people that want to be muscular. But also mental health, man. A high-sodium diet is going to make you go fucking crazy in the head because you're going to be... You're going to be inflamed. Your whole body, your brain... Your mind, your heart, your soul, everything's going to be inflamed and it's going to make you depressed. It's going to make you anxious. Um, while I'm on that note, I do use organic cranberries for fiber intake. Dude, these things have one third of a cup, which is one serving on this, has 20 grams of, of fiber. This is like the most natural uh, fiber thing you can get for that amount of calories. It's fucking insane. So... Once you start eating these high protein things, you're probably going to get constipated to so to prevent that have Those cranberries every day, you know um, Whether it's at night or in the morning like have one serving of that then that's 20 grams of um, Fiber and you're supposed to get like 38 grams of fiber a day if you eat this whole thing of um, Rice that's another four grams 
The other thing I do to get my vegetables is this. I don't really eat this. It has a lot of calories, like 170. But I have this one. The no cell added cut green beans from Walmart. Um, get you a couple cans of those. It's kind of hard to find, man. You got to find the right Walmart that sells it. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing, guys. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're new here, comment down below. Show some love. And the ebook is coming soon. Let's get it.